for the short history of Arusha under the colon of Germany. And the last exhibition, it's all about ecology and wildlife photographs. As well, in the museum, we have temporary exhibition. We have small botanical garden. It contains some different species of plant, which is vulnerable nowadays in Tanzania. As well, in the museum, we have five different species of the live animals. And all of that, we protect here in the museum. As well, the last section is the art center for painting, as well as the part of the museum. In Tanzania, we have around only nine national museums. But in the region of Arusha, we have three of them. And this is the second biggest national museum in Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, the first one in the region of Arusha. It was established in 1987 in the public areas. But the building was built by the Germans, 1886. And it's one among the very oldest buildings in Arusha. This building here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was built for the purpose of fort. And it was built by the tough clay and stone inside. Mm. <laughs> So guys, you're welcome. If you have any question, do it just to ask me a question. All right. Yeah, okay. Can you start on this chat? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're following it. Yeah, do yeah. your yeah. okay. right. thing. <laughs> so guys, I think you know most of the people nowadays trust the human. They came out into theory, creation and evolution. But in Tanzania, most of us we believe in creation, and we have four main religion in Tanzania, which is Christian, Muslim, Hindu, and pagan. But the most popular religion is Christian. Approximately 61% of the population of Tanzania, they are Christianity. Wow. And 34% 30, they are Muslim, and two small, two small religions, which are Hindu and Pagan. And I think you know Pagan. Pagan. Mm -hmm. No, pagan. 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 We term like a religion, but in fact it's pagan. not a religion. Oh, hey, oh. It's the kind of the people who believe in the nature gods, like a kind of the witch doctors. Mm. We have such kind non of believe. Non -believe. Non -believe. Yeah, yeah. Atheists? No, no. no. non religious. Right, non religious. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. 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 yeah. But due to the evidence of the fossils, that mostly was discovered in East Africa. Still now we have four main stages of human evolution. So the first stage of human evolution is Australopithecus afarensis. And most of the fossils were discovered in East Africa was maybe 3.4 to 2.9 million years ago. The nickname we call it Lucy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you heard about Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone they know the reason behind why it was named Lucy like a nickname? Mm -hmm. Because no. the scientific name is Arthropithecus afarensis. African. Yeah, it's easier for the Europeans to It's easier for the Europeans to present to Lucy yeah. versus to present. You know, just like you know, wherever you go. You know, they make the adjustments for what works for them as far as uh, their language. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a language situation. Yeah, look at these two words there. Right. Right. Australia, because that's yeah, like the region, the region. And yeah. then you have Africa, the country, which is another name besides Africa. Put those mm. two together. Mm -hmm. Right, Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But <laughs> the reason behind to name it Lucy like a nickname is because in 1967 in Ethiopia, in the expedition campsite, there is one among of the very famous song was listened loudly and repeated many times. The name of the song is from the Beatles. No. Losing oh, the Losing the Sky. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. that's why after discovered the fossils okay. in 1974, oh, was named it Lucy like a nickname. Oh, yes. As well, the second reason to name it Lucy is because, I think you know guys, worldwide, Lucy is the name of female, not yes. a male. Right. But yeah, from this stage, it was found with the fossils of female, okay. not a male. And the first one, Arthropithecus, is a scientific name that stands for southern apes. Mm -hmm. Because our ancestors was look like apes like in human life. Apes like apes members like chimpanzee, gorilla, gibbon, and orangutan. Mm -hmm. And the first one, Alpha, it's one among the place or the local site that most of these fossils were discovered in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As well in the only stage that was discovered few fossils, only forty percent out of one hundred. So it's missing a lot of fossils from Lucy. But oh, Lucy, okay. yeah, they have more than two subspecies. The first one is Arthropithecus africanus, that mm -hmm. we discovered in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And the another one is Paranthropus boisei, or Zinjathropus boisei. It's the only stage that we discovered in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. In the local site, we call it Olduvai Gorge. It's located inside the Ngongoro Conservation Area. The nickname, we call it Nutcracker, mm -hmm. because of the strong jaws and big teeth. As well was discovered in 7th of July in 1959. And the last one is Paranthropus robustus, as well was discovered in South Africa. 
So for all this year, the first stage of human evolution. But the mother species, Lucy, that mostly was discovered in Ethiopia. The second stage after Lucy is Homo habilis. And most of the fossils were discovered in Eastern South Africa. The nickname of Homo habilis, we call it the handyman. Mm. Yeah, because in the first stage, that started to use the stone tools, mm. uh, oh, like okay. old one tool. Old one tool. And most of was, was used in that kind of a tools for the purpose of security. And the third one after Homo habilis is Homo erectus, the upright oh, man. Yeah. And most of the fossils, not only in Africa, as well in Russia, combination of two continents, Europe and Asia. Mm -hmm. From the stage, we started to use kind of the sharp stone tools like Archelon handex, mostly for the purpose of hunting and carving the skin of the animals. As well, from this stage, we started to use the language, like nowadays, as well to use the fire and painting the caves. Even in Tanzania, we have a lot of evidence of painting the caves and in the big rock. But Homo erectus, they have two main subspecies. The first one is Homo neanderthalensis, that most oh, of the fossils was founded in Europe, mm -hmm. European countries, yep. like in Germany, some in France. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, this species is already extinct in the world. Mm -hmm. And one among of the reasons to extinct is due to their weak immunity compared yes. to us. Yeah. Right. But the last one is Homo sapiens, mm -hmm. and this one is present worldwide. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. So for all these are the fourth main stage of human evolution. Yeah. And apart from that, I think, you know, guys, Tanzania is the only country in the world that we found it the oldest footprint of the first ancestor of human being. 3.6 million years ago, that footprint. Okay. And due to evidence of that footprint, that right yeah, that the replica. Yeah. So due to that footprint, is the good evidence to show that our ancestor was look, was walked with two legs. My pedal, yeah. That's what that's supposed to be about. That's the footprint. It's not mm, sorry. Right. I have teeth here. It's not a child, sorry. It's well, not, not a child, no, no. I think do you remember do you know the height of Lucy? Or she like four short. 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 Yeah, yeah, short. short. I know it's very short. Yeah. Approximately if you can resemble it with that kind of a footprint. We guessing is the couple that work together because oh. it is about the footprint of both the male and female. If you can look one day in the picture, the big and the small ones with females. Yeah. But behind of that couple, as well, we discover the footprint of the child. Oh, ah. nice, yeah. nice. And not only the human being, we discovered more than twenty different species of the animals. Okay. Yeah, like mm. the rhinoceros, baboons, and giraffe. Okay. In wow. the same place. And the footprint was preserved due to their volcanic ash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Three point six million years ago, mm -hmm. in the site we call it Ilaitoli, it's located in Gorongoro Conservation Area. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this look cast of the actual print. This yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. this side here. And this one, I think you know, guys, it's Africa. This is a map of Africa that shows the different location that was discovered some kind of the footprint, the fossils, and the stone tools, the oldest one, especially in Tanzania, Old Vigoj, and different parts in Ethiopia, like Omo, Gona, and other places in Ethiopia. Yeah. So, through this theory, we believe this area is the land of our ancestors because most of the oldest fossils in Tanzania and Kenya <coughs> and Ethiopia as well. Right? Okay. Okay, let's move. Yeah, as well, this one is the map of Tanzania. I think you know It shows some different locations that we discovered some kind of footprints, the fossils in the other parts of Tanzania, especially mostly in the northern part of Tanzania here and in the region of Arusha, in Gorongoro, in Laisoli and Old Dubai Gorge, inside the Gorongoro Conservation Area. The cradle of mankind. Yeah, the cradle of mankind. Anyone know the size of Tanzania? The size of the land? It's about uh, 920 something. Square kilometer. Close. <laughs> <laughs>
Como é que vai ser? Old Dubai. Old Dubai. The place here beside. Sabe se eu me me sim? But the real name of the site of Dubai, it came from this plant. The plant name we call it Old Dubai. Old Dubai. Yeah, Old Dubai. But Old Dubai is the mispronunciation. So that's misspelling from the British people. Exactly. I was also from the European. Yeah. They always are misspelled stuff. So in this guy, the picture for archaeologist that came from British. His name is Dr. Lewis and her wife Mary Lee. Okay. Yeah. Was came here in Tanganyika in 1930, but was discovered the first fossils in 7th of July 1959. As well, the footprint, the wife of Dr. Lewis, she's the first one to saw it in Lai She saw it in 1960. Mm. Oh, this is the same in 1960. Yeah, this is the same one over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what she but, saw. Yeah, but that one is replica. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's 1959 was a good year, it was the year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, like, yeah. And guys, here we have some different level of the soil in Old Vibrage. We have bed one, bed two, bed three, and bed four, the present layer of the soil in Old Vibrage. So it means that most of the oldest fossils was discovered in the oldest level of the soil in Old Vibrage. Oh. Yeah, so it means that, I think, you know, mostly we don't measure the oldest fossils by using carbon-14. Especially the fossils more than a million years ago. We can't use carbon-14. Yeah, we so can or we can't? We can't. We can't. We can't. We cannot. We we cannot. cannot. Yeah, okay. yeah. So mostly we estimate by using the layer of the soil. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So bed one, the oldest, bed two, the second, bed three, and bed for the present layer of the soil in all Vibrage. And here, I think you know, most of the animals was underwent evolution, not only human beings. So here we have some kind of the few species of the animals that underwent evolution. That mostly we have nowadays in Tanzania as well in other parts of Africa. So like a kind of zebra, buffalo, pumba, giraffe, hippo, and other animals. And mostly the different, the big difference is the body size. Most of their ancestors was look bigger compared to them nowadays. Oh, they were bigger, yeah, they were bigger. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and Here from this part, we have some replica of the different fossils like the Lucy in Ethiopia. A few part of the mandible we have here, but it's replica, it's not real. Yeah. And due to the evidence of the fossils, was imagined like if you can look here, yeah, was imagined was look like apes like and human like. Mm -hmm. As well, I think you know the Lucy was half short life span compared to us nowadays. Mm -hmm. Approximately of the 18 to 25 years. Not so much human compared to so here in the showcase we have that kind of one among the subspecies of the Right, right. 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 <laughs> he was sitting behind me, the little five year old boy. Yeah, he yeah. probably was asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was the first one. Yeah. He was the first one. I thought you was behind me. No, I was right there by you. Yeah, but, uh, huh. yeah uh, it's a lot of uh, folks in it bad, little yeah. pieces yeah. hanging out. Yeah, the Wonder Boy was good. It was like, it was opposite. The Wonder Boy was nice, quiet. You know, he made it a little bit. The Playboy was a trip, man. <laughs> I don't care. Even by this time, you know. Yeah, we know. We, we're the only black people on our flights. <laughs> <laughs> right, you saw you saw. It. <laughs> yes, yes. That's I felt like reminiscing about our flight uh, to here uh, in Tanzania. Yes, yes. As we walk to this museum. Just want to give everybody a nice feel of uh, this natural museum inside, and we're going to take you to a few other presentations in the natural museum uh, compound, which also have a botanical garden and arts and culture center. So yes, family, the journey continues. <laughs> 